Howdy, howdy. New Metal Moose Idol. <laughs> Thank you for noticing my Twitter profile. <laughs> howdy, howdy. We're going to play gal metal, which means we're going to play metal uh, in, a, in a gal fashion. Uh, I know a little bit about the story of the game, but I don't even want to attempt to describe it before we start. I just really want to let it speak for itself. <laughs> Um, I also think this is a rhythm game, and I want to get ahead of this thing. I want to get ahead of this thing. I want to work my PR good and early. I am not good at rhythms, <laughs> rhythm games. Uh, I get very... I get very overwhelmed, I guess, by, like, a lot of arrows and, and things I have to press. If it's too many in a row. Uh, I don't know if this game has difficulty levels. Uh, I'll, I'll, I'll push it to the limit. I'll do the highest, I'll do the highest, uh, level that I'm capable of clearing, even if it takes me, like, two or three times to clear it. But after that, I might have to bump down. It was that? A little weird glitchy thing? No? Okay. Blame it on the stream capture? I mean, I'm... <clears throat> I don't even- I don't even know if I could- If I, <laughs> I- don't know if I could get away with that! I'm that bad! Are you a gal and also metal? I'd like to think so. Drums are my favorite thing to play in Rock Band. I like- I like drums. Aki Habara. The great city of Tokyo, an amalgam of- Just outside of that sprawling metropolis resides a tiny place in Musashino City called Kichijoji. A place in which big things, big incidents never occur. A place in which even news of foreign wars... Feels like not, but some big budget film. Day upon day of peace and tranquility. I was going to say, yeah, it does look familiar. But peaceful days are often disrupted in the most abrupt of ways. Was that, was that? <laughs> Why did that look like a, I'm trying to think of what anime that, 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 that opening slate looked like. Ding ding! I was gonna say Evangelion. It said next gig though. <laughs> I mean, I guess it is a rhythm game. Jeez, when did it get this late? It did look like Ava. I'm getting- is that me? Am I a guy? But it's supposed to be gal metal. I'm getting abducted by aliens, though. Maybe it's just some rando. Uh-oh. Hmm? Oh, there's a milady here, too. Who the heck? You've been chosen. Who's there? Uh, where am I? You have been chosen. Oh my god. <laughs> Octopi? We have come to conquer your planet. You what now? It is your fault that our planet was destroyed. Wait, did metal destroy his planet? Revenge will be ours. What did we do? Playing dumb, are we? The weapon you sent to our planet destroyed our entire civilization, huh? Behold this weapon! <laughs> it's a vinyl! Emits dreadful sound waves! Wait, isn't that just Voyager and the Golden Record? Yeah, Voyager, the probe they sent to space with messages for alien life. I've always been against that. I've always been against that, because I'm of the opinion, I'm a blue, I don't know whether you pronounce it the Fermi, the Fermi Paradox or the Fermi Paradox, I've always said Fermi Paradox. I'm a firm believer 
the Fermi Paradox should be observed. And so, if we haven't been contacted by things, it's because, it's either because they're not smart enough, they're, or they're so much smarter than us that we just don't matter. And then the question is to, well, then why don't we pick up anybody else's? Why don't we pick up anybody else's uh, uh, waves of any kind? And the the answers to that are there. The there's nobody out there. Uh, there's nobody smart enough to send waves out. Uh, we can't even tell what they are because we're not smart enough. Or the two scariest, in my opinion, are that anyone of a sufficient a sufficient technology level to send waves out into space eventually destroys themselves. Or the scariest of all. Any other intelligent life knows that it's a bad idea to to uh, identify yourselves and send a location out into space because there's something there that you don't want to alert to your presence, and so they don't. <laughs> Hold on, I just saw the thing glitch. What is going on with you? Hey, fuck, capture card. The ultimate coward play? Okay, well, I'm a space coward. It's like a space cowboy, but better. <laughs> Didn't expect Music Night to get this existential. <laughs> Yeah, why are we- why are we sending signals out there? It just seems so dangerous. I'm against it. I'm against it. Voyager, the probe they sent to space with messages for alien life. This accursed weapon robbed countless of their- of our kind of their senses. And those ghastly sounds are entirely to blame. Chug, 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 chug. Metal? Can't take it. ENOUGH! As the emissaries of this planet, you shall accept our challenge. However, only one of you can be the emissary, which means the two of you shall become one. Wait. Do I get- do I get smooshed into this girl? What? Whoa! We're getting schmixed! Just a dream? It definitely wasn't. That's a ri- <laughs> Whoa! Huh? I look just like the girl in the dream! I guess this is what the octopus meant when he said we'd become one. What? Who's there? Calm down, dummy. Looks like we're both in my body. Blah, just my luck. Looks like only you have control over my body. All I can do is talk to you from inside. You gotta be kidding. What am I supposed to do now? Well, no point in moping around. We can think about what to do once we're at school. <laughs> school? It's going to look bad for me if you stay home. Duh. But... Hurry up and get changed already. Hey, watch the hands, buddy! You got me all wrong, did she? Shut your eyes real tight when you get dressed. Yeah, like, that's possible. What did I do to deserve this? Tomorrow night we shall commence with our attack. Attack! We are speaking to you telepathically. <laughs> the other humans cannot hear our voices. What do you mean by attack? Have you not been paying attention? We mean attacking you from the comfort of our spaceships, naturally. From space? What are you gonna do? What foolish earthlings you are. In any case, we will commence with our attack tomorrow. Unless you can find a way to defend yourselves, your precious Earth will be reduced to space dust. 
Wait just a sec, stop! If you cannot defeat us, your Earth is finished. Says you. Oh, wait, look at the look at the students behind her. A way to defend ourselves. Didn't that octopus guy say they were sensitive to metal? Problem solved then. I'll introduce you to my club after school. Club? I'm in a band. Oh, it's like Kaon. <laughs> More like Kaon. <laughs> this is the metal club. Metal club. Whoa. Vent la vent la space people, huh? Kia, you're confusing the prez. Kia Bonsui, synthesizer. Hobbies include online games and watching sci-fi movies. I hypothesize that by the laws of quantum mechanics, one can utilize a wormhole to slide between the fabrics of space and time and travel between... You're quite early today, prez. Mani Kurobarain. Base, daughter of the head of the Kurobain conglomerate. Ah, Eddie's here too. Eddie Kurafuto. Rhythm guitar. Five nine tall. Quiet. Goodbye. <laughs> Who are they? They're all members of my band. I'm on drums. Kinda in the way. Ah, that's Shimi. She's the lead guitarist. Shimi Shindori. Lead guitar. Delinquent. Has a little brother. Am I the little brother? What, something on my face? Uh, nope. What a weirdo. By the way, have you ever drummed before? Not really. Then it's practice time. Wait, what? You. Drum. Practice. Duh. Now wait a second, I don't know the first thing about music. Put your belly aching and be a man! We gotta do what we gotta do. With the power of this band, we're gonna save Earth from those octo-jerks. Is it sh music time? Oh, no, I'm just walking to school. Yeah, I'm so sleepy. Our practice was practically a waste of time because you fell asleep halfway through. Cut me some slack, would ya? We kind of got kidnapped by aliens the other night. Aliens? <laughs> she's so excited. Oh, uh... Kia, she's Kia. Kia, yeah, uh... What's going on? Did you say something about aliens? Uh-oh. I think I accidentally skipped it. Curses. Today's topic. Do aliens exist? Y slash N. Open metal club chat room. What's with the topic? I said we should talk it over, but this is way too blunt. I accidentally skipped. Can I? I don't know if I can go back. I get to... Choto. Choto. Oops. <laughs> I took a capture on accident. One second, one second. I got too excited about the aliens. <laughs> Maybe they have a chapter select. Pause chapter. I'm on. I've seen the Crywear logo a hundred times. I don't need to see it again. Load game. Maybe there's an autosave somewhere. Oh, no data. Let's let's go. New game. Okay. Let's see, let's see what kind of chunks I skip in. 
kind of chunky monkeys I skip in. Is this him waking up in her body? Sorry about this. Oh, perfect! Practice probably you fell asleep halfway through. We were kidnapped by aliens the other night. Aliens? Oh, uh, Kia, she's Kia. Yeah, Kia, yeah, uh, what's going on? Did you say something about aliens? Oh no, I was just, uh, thinking about what it must be like to be an alien in another country. Honto. They say that humans abducted by aliens tend to start acting erratically, you know. Due to the experiments and genetic alterations. This is me. Hee <laughs> Do you think she's onto us? She might be. <laughs> but we're gonna need the whole band if we're gonna defend Earth. So we might as well tell them everything. Then... Then again, if they find out there's a guy controlling me, there's a decent chance we'll get kicked out of school. This is an all-girls academy. We'll tell them about the aliens. But keep the rest under wraps. Oh, come on. I don't think I missed too much. Do aliens exist? Y slash N. This is all of my all of my chat rooms. What's with the topic? I said we should talk it over, but this is way too blunt. <laughs> I think Prez is something big she'd like to announce. What, like aliens are invading or something? That is what we're announcing. Oh, oh, perfect! The time has finally come for me to unveil my Earth defense plan. Yeah, do you really think a high school girl could pull that off, lol? Did you get the Henya merch? Yeah, I got it! I got it the... the... her... the day she debuted. Well, that one boy was only three when he came into contact with aliens from the great beyond, and that other boy was ten when he met that one alien that got left behind. I'd argue there's a significant chance that us high school girls could do something even crazier. Whatever's my bad for even asking. Yo, what period is it? Sixth. Oh, she's a delinquent. She's not at school. Arg, I just want to be done. I don't get math. The girl- oh, she is in school. The girl next to me is dead asleep, too. Not like we're ones to talk, considering we're in a group chat during class. This! <laughs> I love line stickers. They're all so weird. That's right. I was going to swing by the CD shop after school. I got to remember to go. School's almost over. After school. Club. Do we have no family? That's kind of what it seems like. Speaking of club, why did the Prez go home so quickly? We were supposed to practice that new song. Oh, that's right. What should we say? <gasps> oh, we were we? You're being a creeper again, Kia. Ain't she supposed to be the one in charge of Metal Club? Relax, Shimi. I know what's going on. Yeah, I just noticed her name is Telephone Pole. Prez is coming to contact with alien life. Okay. <laughs> Shimi, surely you've noticed how weird she's been acting since yesterday. I mean, I guess. Humans abducted by aliens often display bizarre behavior. Abducted? That is to say, kidnapped by aliens. Basically, the Prez was taken ab aboard an alien ship, experimented on, then returned to Earth after receiving some kind of message. Um, I'm gonna focus on class now. Me too. I'm gonna take a nap till class is over. Peace, Kia. Woo! <laughs> Wait just a minute! What, you're just gonna nerd out about that sci-fi stuff you love so much, right? Come on, this is too much, even for you. Is it now? I'm sure the Prez would know better than me, right? Try explaining our situation without telling them you're in my body. Well, the thing is... I can't believe it. Are you for real? Battle versus aliens. The Earth will be attacked tomorrow. That explains why you've been acting weird. Your drumming seemed oddly poor yesterday. Unlike me, you really do need some practice. According to the Prez, metal music is capable of rendering the aliens powerless. I knew it all along. Our club was on the right track. Is there a scientific explanation behind that? This! <laughs> Who cares? As long as we can beat them with our jams, it's all good. I was just thinking it was about time to bust out a new song. Want to try that one? 
The Earth Defense Force's new weapon, hmm? Wretched aliens, let's see how you fare against the power of metal. Then that means we must first finish the song. If you need me, I'll come running as soon as possible, Prez. Just say the word. I'll be preparing for your call at the arcade or crushing noobs online. I'll be waiting. All right, let's kick some alien butt. Yeah! 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 Resistance is futile. Line is so good. I basically... Oh my god, wait, there's so many! There's so many drums! First, let's practice the basics. Try hitting the kick drum. Yeah, I love, I love line. Basically, if somebody is like willing to use line over, over texting, I, that's my preference. For communication, because I have all of my insane stickers that I can use. Um, the weirder the stickers, the better. I have a, I have a Pokemon set of stickers where they're all like kind of melting looking. <laughs> and I use that, and I have like six Pop Team Epic sets. <laughs> Try hitting the kick drum. Oh. Oh my god, there's so many. There's so many drums. Next up is the snare drum. That's why. Next, give the crash symbol a good hit. That's L. Oh, the other one. Two. Depending on what each song asks of you, you'll have to swing the left and right sticks to drum, sometimes simultaneously. Oh yeah, you can use Joy-Cons for this, too. These are the fundamentals of drumming. Cool, let's practice a basic rhythm. Wait, basic? Playing the drums is all about aligning yourself with the rhythm of the song. I can instruct you until I go blue in the face, but at the end of the day, you're the one actually moving your body. It's up to you and your muscles to learn how to drum to the rhythm. Got it, let me give this a shot. Here's your first rhythm pattern to memorize. That's the kick, right? under it is just enter sand <laughs> not bad at all let's try practicing a different rhythm so that's going between kick and snare my oh, I'm hitting the wrong one There you go! Good, keep it up! If you're getting the hang of it, try combining different rhythms. Don't be afraid to mix it up. Alright, now let's try jamming with the other bandmates. I wonder what the what the Joy-Con version is like. I was just using a controller today, also because I don't want to accidentally punch my microphone like I do when I do motion control sometimes. So, I can feel it. I sense it. The power of metal flows from Prez. Oh, hi there, Prez! Practice time with Prez. Cool, now let's have you practice with your bandmates. Perform with the rhythm you just memorized. Which one? Oh, you can like switch between them? At will. Oh, 
Maybe I have to switch back and forth for the ultimate. Oh yeah, look, the combo goes up when I do. I'm losing the rhythm! My, my, my metal power. Practice again? No. Not too shabby. You should have no problem performing with the others. Let's defend Earth with the power of metal. You'll be on your own with rhythms during the actual concert, but you'll be fine. Hehehe, <laughs> time is up. We shall now commence with our attack. Feast your eyes upon our power. Pew! They're seriously attacking! What did you think they were gonna do? We have to believe in the power of metal! Thirty thousand metal power or above to clear. I think I won. <laughs> oh my god, they're gonna die! <laughs> yeah, I, they, don't, they don't give you arrows, you just have to feel the- you have to feel the beat! You just have to feel the beat as you drum, you have to just go along with it. Performed Enter Sand one time. Performed Enter Sand five times. Performed Ender Sand 10 times. Performed Ender Sand 20 times. Performed Ender Sand 30 times. Performed Harlot one time. <laughs> Performed Harlot five times. Performed Harlot 10 times. Yeah, I, I've erased Octopi men from the galaxy. Uh, Seraph is good. She's, uh, I don't know where she is. She's hiding in and amongst the field of boxes I'm living in right now. <laughs> from Harlot 20 times. From Harlot 30 times. Let's see. 
Yeah, you're mixing it up with different rhythm patterns, but I think you could still stand to get some more variation in there. I'm literally, well, maybe the problem is I'm, I'm going back and forth each time. Oh, is it showing my replay? Look at me, look at me going for it back there. Wait, do the octopus guys dance together? Head banging! Look, they're kind of feeling it! Wow, they actually have like the real brands of uh, of the drums and the cymbals in here. They're not like fake. Maple, they're convulsing. <laughs> Are you telling me they're 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 thrashing in pain? Uh, I was never in, like, this type of band. Uh, I did... I did do, um, like, the concert band type of band, and I did marching band. I actually got really tired of it after a while, uh, and then, but Moose Mama was like, you have to stick with it, it'll look, it'll look good on your college application or whatever it was, so I, I just toughed it out. Nice, we did it. Heck yeah, don't underestimate us Earthlings. Interesting. We fended off your attack, which means we win. Now return us to normal. It would appear as though the power you used to destroy our planet is genuine indeed. Whoa! A UFO? For real? Victory will be ours! <laughs> One second. I think I need, to, I need to go check on something real quick, sorry. Be right back. Wow, 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 wow,
Sorry about that. The, um... The complication with being in the middle of moving is I have a lot of boxes uh, set up. And they're not all taped up yet because I'm still... Some are, I'm trying to organize things so like certain things are in certain boxes. And uh, the thing about, about not having them ta like taped up is some of them are still open because I'm still organizing things into the boxes. And Syrup loves boxes. <laughs> As, as, uh, as cats do, uh, but she also is, uh, a lady with a very delicate tum-tum. Uh, especially during allergy season, because she gets very sniffly, and her, her sniffles and her runny nose, I think that, like, some of the stuff from her nose kind of getting into her tum-tum upsets her stomach, and so she's a little more pukey this time of year. <laughs> um... She's not eating the boxes, no, but um, every time I hear her uh, making her little her little throw-up noises, I uh, have to run and make sure she's not inside. She likes to, to get in the boxes and play, play around in them, which is fine as long as it's not like dangerous stuff. Um, which I don't really have any dangerous stuff, it looks like sharp stuff. Uh, but whenever I hear her little puking, she makes kind of this like pukey noise when she's uh when she's yeah the cat gag and when i hear that i run and make sure that she's not inside of a box because if she throws up inside of one of my mostly packed moving boxes it's over oh <laughs> uh, she wasn't she was she was pukey but she was not in a box so we're good <laughs> i just heard it and i was like shit i have to go check right now <laughs> or it's gonna bother me for the rest of stream. Yeah, sorry I left you with this insane siren noise. <laughs> Did you enjoy this ASMR, these dulcet ASMR tones? Do you have a lot of stuff to pack? I have like a decent amount of stuff to pack. Um, It's, honestly, I have like... I have everything packed that I'm planning on shipping, so I can actually probably schedule my sh my my pickup because USPS does um, free pickup on like flat rate boxes if you have a lot of them, and it would just be a pain to bring them to the the post office. So I can actually probably schedule my pickup and get some of these out of here. <laughs> um, but she she likes both the smaller boxes and the bigger boxes. Uh, my my favorite thing. My favorite thing that she does, which is really cute, is the boxes which are which are partially packed and have like kind of a small little space. Uh, she likes to put her paws up on the lip, like the the box where it folds in uh, to close. She likes putting her paws up and then having it fall down. And like she does it over and over, so I know that she's doing it on purpose. She likes kind of like letting it carry her down like a little roller coaster, and then she slips into the little space that's that's left that I haven't packed in yet and she just smushes herself up and just sits the, in there and screams at me from there. <laughs> that's her favorite game right now. Hey, weigh it up! Love your New Vegas series. Will you be doing more of them in the future? I've actually really wanted to get back to New Vegas. The re only reason I stopped was both of my New Vegas videos, I got, um, I got copyright warnings from them. Um, so, and it was like the second the stream ended, I, I, uh, I basically got notifications right away that were like, you had licensed songs. And so that happened in the first stream and I was like, oh, like I need to, there must be some kind of, of option I can hit. And so I turned off, there was an option that people showed me where I could turn the background or the radio music off or the background music off. Or something like that. And so I did that. And then on my second New Vegas stream, um, I allegedly had it turned off. And I still got a bunch of copyright notifications. Um, so, But I've, I've seen other people playing New Vegas on Twitch. So I don't know if, like, maybe it's a Twitch, uh, a YouTube copyright sensitivity versus... 
versus a Twitch copyright sensitivity. I don't really know how that works. Um, but I'd like, I'd like to play more of them because, because I was really enjoying it. I feel like there has to be a mod to either remove or audio jungle the music. Yeah, like I feel like there is, but I'm playing it. I was playing it on 360, so maybe the maybe the answer is that when I get my beef PC, I get that mod <laughs> and then play play the safe version of New Vegas without. Without. And some of it wasn't, it wasn't like even music that you would ever know about. It was like these random things that I assumed they made up and somehow they're copyrighted music from like a long time ago. Is there a, a replacement radio mod? Okay, yeah, that would be really useful. A lot of people play on Twitch. Yeah, that's the thing is I've seen a lot of people play on Twitch and be fine. So I don't know if I just have to move to Twitch or whether I should restart on PC. Uh, and use use mods to to deal with the radio. I have to do one or the other, basically, because I was uh, I was I'm, I'm really jazz. I, I I was really enjoying it, and I, I'd be really jazzed to keep going. I, I was just getting really annoyed because, and sometimes it wouldn't come all at once. Sometimes I'd get one or two warnings, like as soon as the stream ended, and then a few more would trickle in throughout the week, and it always just kind of stressed me out, and then I had to go in and like mute stuff, and it was just kind of annoying. You really are your Oshi's child. <laughs> Gets 3,000 series GPU plays decade-old game. I mean, I feel like that's generally what I'm going to be doing, so. Can't believe we defended Earth from alien invaders. Defenders of Earth. I'm into this. We'll take them on anytime, any place. Tappa tappa. UFO SNS. UFO Kita! <laughs> Don't even think about trying to make this go viral. Ow! Oh, is this next time? First planet from the sun is Mercury! It's Mercury! Second planet is Venus. The sixth is Saturn. Which one's the fifth again? The second gig. See you later, Jupiter. <laughs> First gig clear, badge acquired. Oh, I can save now. Nice. Oh, look! Someone once said, we are not alone. Oh, that's cool. It actually has the date and the time, but it looks like a, like a ticket. Doors open, doors closed. Do I grow? It looks like I grow the girls, so they get more morality, guts, passion, activity, and Is that cult. <laughs> Is that something else? Yeah, I I love a good I love a good quality save screen. That was always one thing that I was kind of kind of kind of got me uh, between Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3. Xbox actually had like per game bespoke save screens, whereas the PS3 obviously had the, uh, the PlayStation navigation. What did they call it? It was some three letter abbreviation uh, for, for the HUD on the PS3. And it was the PS3 the PSP and the Vita. And I think the PS4 had it sometimes, but they started phasing it out, and now I'm noticing that bespoke save screens are kind of coming back in, on the PS5, which is cool. Those aliens weren't nothing. I doubt they'll be coming back. Let's grab a bite after school. Sounds good. Uh, eating while walking is strictly forbidden. Rika Kumeda, a model student trusted by classmates and teachers alike, gets on everyone's nerves. <laughs> Her home is a liquor store. Okay. Oh great, it's Rika. Excuse me? Don't even think about making any stops on the way home. Do you seriously expect anyone to obey that medieval rule now now? What? Earthlings. Whoops, we must calibrate our audio levels. 
My, this is me starting a stream. Mic check, mic check, one, two, one, two. Do you copy? Just great, it's those idiotic invaders. Hurry up and return us to normal. Give us back our bodies. Normal? Return who now? Um. <laughs> Beat it! In two days. What's in two days? Two days from now, you will once again accept our challenge. But we already beat you! You merely defeated us but once. Not to mention that was only a taste of our scientific prowess. We shall prove once and for all that we are the mo far more advanced, or that we are far more advanced than you could possibly imagine. So what do you want us to do this time? <laughs> you will find out two days from now. Until then, try not to quake in fear. Oh, and we might add, your puny wave attacks from last time will not work on us again. What? We shall meet again in two days. Hey, wait! XMB, that's the one. Yeah, the PlayStation had the XMB and it killed cool bespoke save screens like that for a while and I, I never forgave them. Plans after school. I like that they open a new chat room every time they talk. <laughs> Are you guys okay? Yo, hello! Kia's not here. Sorry about that, a wild teacher was lurking nearby, so it took me it took me a while to get to the into the room. I'm planning on grabbing some parts in the electronics store after school. Then I'm gonna do some experiments in the park with my extra dimensional teleporter. I need a power source equivalent to a lightning strike in order to boot the thing up. Anyone happen to have some plutonium I can borrow? What about sodium? I recall there being plenty in the science room. Plutonium, I need as much as I can get my hands on. Yeah, yeah, Plutonosian or whatevs. Anyway, if anyone wants to jam after school, just let me know. I'm down. I can practice whenever. Practice takes a lot of stamina, so if you're gonna go to work or hang out, just make sure to leave some gas in the proverbial tank. Maintaining one's stamina is an important part of taking advantage of your free time after school. Oh, I wonder if there's gonna be like a persona, like pick stuff to boost a stats sort of thing. True enough, work takes a whole lot of energy, so it takes a lot of stamina to jam on top of that. Not to mention, once the clock strikes 4 a.m., even if you do have the stamina, it's going to be pretty much impossible to jam, go to work, or hang out. But the metal club, nay, Earth itself has a future, is dependent on making the right decisions. Oh my god, you guys. Solo and group jam sessions both feed into the metal club's performances, but working and hanging out are, is also an important part of honing yourself. There are five different qualities you can improve by going to work or hanging out. Morality directly correlates to how accurately you can drum to the rhythm. Activity directly relates to whether you're combining multiple rhythms to produce combos. Creativity is connected to whether or not you're trying out different arrangements when drumming. And guts and passion are both related to effectively doing battle with stronger aliens. We can elucidate further some other time. Dang, I never realized jamming required all those different qualities. Depending on the job or activity, you can raise these individual qualities. The more you do so, the higher your rating at the end of a performance. I recommend working on qualities that you struggle with. We can also... Okay. <laughs> we can also help you raise those qualities by working or hanging out at places where we are. You'll improve your qualities more than normal. Basically broaden your horizons. Yeah! <laughs> This! <laughs> That's my favorite one! Yeah, how she texts that fast? Metal Spirit has been- or oh, Eddie Kurafuto's Metal Spirit has been set ablaze. An event at clothing store has been triggered. I can go to different places for different events. This is kind of like a, uh... Kind of like any of those idle MOBA gays, where you have to go to different places and talk to band members to get stuff. Stamina activities use up your stamina. Make sure to properly budget your stamina between practice and other activities. Is that you spend your time after school? All non-club activities will have an effect on your parameters and or affinity level, so you get like affinity with the girls. Your current stats improve them with extracurricular activities other than Metal Club. I'm remaining in day, access info. 
in the day's activities. When live is displayed, it's time to do battle with the aliens. Higher parameters mean better performances. There are five parameters you can improve if you're confident enough. Maybe you can ace performances without increasing these. So these will these will just these will just help me get higher scores, I guess. So we'll know what K K volt volt. So are guts and passion not as good? Proving your guts will reduce the frequency and duration of those pesky alien attacks. Max of 50% less effective. Oh, they they debuff the enemy, I see. So it's... It's... The other three buff me, and passion and guts debuff the aliens. I see. So I can do solo practice, group practice, and they all... And they all have different stamina. Woo! I see. They all have different stamina costs. Convenience store. Where is that? Up there. Cafe. Maybe I should go to the clothing store because she's having a. Oh, but that that lowers my passion. Is that right? It boosts my guts and activity a lot, but lowers my passion. But I mean, she's on fire, so maybe I should. Maybe I should go see her. Her metal soul is burning. Oh, you have a part-time job, Eddie? Yes. My shyness. I want to fix it. Wow, she's working at a clothing store? Good for her. Since you're so tall, you're perfect for the job, Eddie. Thanks. But, uh, why have you just been standing there? Shouldn't she be handling the register or organizing clothes or something? The manager told me to wear these clothes. And stand here! She's a mannequin! Um... Eri, you're being treated like a glorified mannequin. Worked part-time at a clothes store, yeah, so my passion goes down too. The other two things went up. Maybe I should find something with passion now. Preferably at one of the ones that people are at. Oh, Eddie's at the cafe now, and she has five passion. Where are the other girls? Minus two activity. Well, that gives me a bunch of... Maybe I'll go to the general store. General. Wait, where's that last girl? Oh, maybe she's... Oh, you have work or play at these places. The arcade. Zone out. <laughs> Wait, I like that it costs no stamina. Uh... Let's get this boost and talk to alien girl. Worked part-time at general store. There you go. Probably do a practice with them eventually. Oh, they're all... Oops, some are playing now. I could get too passion back by going and chilling at the cafe. How much does it cost to do... Solo practice and group practice. Do some... Get, get a little bit of passion regain. Oh, and some of them have higher stamina drains. What do I get out of solo and group practice? Does it buff me overall? Maybe I'll do this and then spend the rest of my stamina. Spend the rest of my stamina 
on group practice. Group seems like it would be more helpful than solo. Will I just like fall down in the street and collapse? Will it be a will it be a, a, a harvest moon, a rune factory situation? Sup! Oh here we go. Cool, now let's have you practice with your bandmates. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. I keep doing that one backwards. There we go. Okay, I'm definitely gonna mess this up. <laughs> but it's okay. Nicely done. I think you'll be good to go by the time the concert rolls around. I better be. Yeah, I was gonna say the the girl the girl whose body I'm in charge of just seems to be like, that's cool. Let's play metal. <laughs> I'll teach you the drums. Practice. Yes slash no. Like this one wasn't obvious. Indeed. Well, that's that. I was just thinking of heading to the science room to perform some elementary particle and nuclear experiments using an electron accelerator. School goes boom. Hee hee hee. It'd be way more than just the school that would go boom. Practice is important. You can practice solo or jam as a group to prepare for a performance. Since you're on drums, Prez, you can practice and memorize a host of different rhythms. <gasps> Each rhythm pattern is divided into different categories based on their image. I recommend choosing a category that fits with the kind of drumming you want to do. Oh god, I have to decide what I do? Put simply, the basic rhythm pattern is metal. Then there's abyss if you want to sound with a lot of depth. Rage if you want a lot of emotion or passion. Beast if you're craving something fast. And splash if you want something bouncy. Last but not least is chaos. For those times, you're wanting just that. Chaos. If you're ever unsure of which to pick, you might be best off choosing one of the recommended patterns labeled hot. Oh, I have to remember. I have to memorize specific patterns. Bring on the heat! I think the aliens are reading their chat. Yeah, why do they open a new chat every time? Do better. Group practice means you're going to bring your sound together with the rest of the band. Unlike solo practice, where you're on your own, this is the closest to the actual performance. Don't forget, our performances are actually battles against the aliens. Practicing is a necessary part of winning. Uh, why are we even explaining this to Rinko? She wasn't born yesterday. How long do you think she's been running this band for? That's a fair point. Is this not proof that the Prez was abducted by aliens and had her brain tinkered with? Beware! While she might be the Prez, she also is not. Yeah, yeah, whatever. How about this? Kia, you ask Rinko something that only all of us could know. If Rinko's really been brainwashed or whatever, she might not be able to remember that stuff. Dig? Hmm, good idea. Gripping. <laughs> 
All right, then. Where was the first place we ever performed a surprise concert? She's talking about the concert where we only had cats as our audience. Only the band knows about this. It's held at the Observatory in Southwest Kichijoji. We walked an hour and a half from the station to get there. That's very powerful. The Observatory. That's correct. Hmm, I suppose I have no choice but to believe you're precisely who you say you are. That concert was our attempt at sending a message to space using the Astronomical Observatory. Wait, were they the ones who pissed off the aliens? What if that's the reason those Octo Jerks showed up? Yeah, she's thinking the same thing as me. Then we must broaden our efforts. Give me a break. Now that we've cleared up the suspicions, let's practice again after school, shall we? Practice makes perfect. Peace out! I apologize for doubting you, Prez. Let's practice and make sure we show those aliens the true power of metal. Ah! Oh. I didn't know it was gonna be like band manager simulator. I thought it was gonna be more of that was gonna be more of the the rhythmy rhythm. Let's see, passion killer, but guts and activities. Convenience store gives me guts. Fast food joint gives me activity. I'll hang out with her at the fast food joint. I need more passion. Passion morality are what I'm lowest on. Passion. With that milady. General store. Where's the other girl? at the arcade. She, she likes the arcade. Maybe I'll even out the playing field a little here. Now I need morality. Oh, that gives me a little more morality at the cost of activity. Passion and guts. Oh, here's some morality. The bookstore. Of course the bookstore gives you morality. Keep that in mind. 90% of being in a band really is talking about being in a band. Eri oh, I got, I'm her friend now. Became Eddie Kudafuto's friend. An event at electronic store has been triggered. Oh, so if I build up my bond with them, they become my buddies. Oh, wait, there's another girl now. Hold on. Oh, hold on. Let me go do Eddie's. I lose morality, but I gain cult. Fancy meeting you here, taking a look around, looking for a metal instructional DVD. For practicing arpeggios. Wow! Do you even know what arpeggio means? Shredding is so much fun. Huh? You know, arpeggio sweeps. Sweeps? Uh. Legato, hammer on, picking. Uh, wait, just a. Uh, Prez, wanna try guitar? I'll have to pass. I'm drowning in guitar lingo as it is. Well, looks like you're still as clueless as ever. Now I need more morality. Oh, do I not have Eddie on here anymore? Did I, should I practice? I feel like I need I need to grind. I need to grind the girls. Grind the ladies. Oh, oh, here's some morality. Go to the movie theater. Hang out at the movie theater. Not enough stamina. Let's rock. <laughs> oh, they're here! Grind the maidens. <laughs> the 
Ga Ganymede, Jupiter. Our error was in using beam weapons. Which is why this time we shall be dropping this to Earth. Is that a Jupiter moon? Attention Earthlings! You will now be teleported into Jupiter's orbit. This moon that has strayed or that has strayed from said orbit is now on a collision course with Earth. If you are superior to us, then you should be able to stop it. Huh, wait, Jupiter? What's happening? Yeah, I was in marching band. I played, um... Well, I started out playing clarinet, but I thought it was kind of like... Like, I was fine with it, but I also wanted to play something that was cooler. <laughs> Worth the Octoids plan! 40,000. Okay. Hold on. How can I tell what's hot? What the hot... Maybe it's just what, what we practiced? Oh god. They're not gonna tell me what the hot, what the hot new rhythm is. Okay. So, so that's the thing. So I wanted to play a cooler instrument. So I swapped bass clarinet because <laughs> it's just like clarinet, but like a million times bigger, and it's like, Bruh! like it sounds like an alien horn. So I was like, I was like, that's what I'm playing now. Uh, but when you when you play in the concert band, uh, my school uh, made you. Basically, if you wanted to take concert band, you had to play in the marching band because nobody wanted to do marching band. And so it was kind of like if you're getting credit for for the one, you have to commit your services to the other. And uh And so I does options give you the note sheet? Oh, open rhythm list. They don't say what's hot though. I think I get the root. Um, and so when I swapped to bass clarinet, I was pretty much just thinking like, I was just thinking like, oh, I want to play the, the big clarinet with the loud noises and the deep tones. And then I had to carry it around in marching band. And I looked at all the other clarinets who could carry their tiny ass little instrument while marching. And I had to literally strap this thing to my body while I was marching, because it was so heavy, you can't just carry it. You have to like, you ha you have to wear like a harness, basically, <laughs> with like a thing around your neck to make sure you don't drop it. And uh, yeah, it has I guess it has touch controls too. Yeah, I just noticed that, huh? Um, and I had to lug this giant ass bass clarinet all around the football field. The thing that pissed me off more than anything is, I mean, we played some pretty cool songs. We played like, we had uh, Pirates of the Caribbean one year. And that was pretty cool. It's like the music and that's really good. Um, so that was, that was a great one. And we actually, uh, our show culminated and we got this giant piece of canvas and it actually culminated in like the drum line unveiling like a big sail at the end, which was cool. Uh, but I was really, uh, I was really attached to wanting to do certain, I was like, can we do video game music? Can't we do video game music? And every year, cause you have to, every year you had to, um, audition again, uh, basically for like chair order. And every year during my audition, I only played video game music. Cause that was the only thing I wanted to play. And then the year after I graduated, the conductor chose to do a suite of music that included music from Halo and Kingdom Hearts. And I was like, you bitch. <laughs> so mad <laughs> i'm still mad about it <laughs> she know what she, she knows what she did Oops. I think I'm forgetting the other one. So there's 
boom, 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 boom. That I'm getting Utopia. Dead history is boom, 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 boom. I don't think I'm get. I don't think I'm getting any of. Oh God! <laughs> hold on, hold on. Or maybe they're not the hot notes, but it said it. Bum 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 bum. So it's one, two, three, four, five. Are these not counting? Oh god. When in doubt, go to Harlot! You're offbeat. Oh god! I still killed them! <laughs> I don't know how! <laughs> What's a Nazarene combo? <laughs> I was just freestyling. Am I a metal am I a metal drumming genius? Performed Utopia one time. Performed Utopia five times. Performed Utopia ten times, are you sure? Performed Utopia twenty times. For I'm dead hysteria one time. For I'm dead hysteria five times. For I'm dead hysteria ten times. Ponto? For I'm Nazarene one time. What is Nazarene? You're so focused on sticking to the basics rhythm that your performance was sort of dull. Look for a different, fresher rhythm that fits the song. Okay, so you just gotta go with the beat, I guess? Even if it's not one of your established beats? You just gotta feel it severely, I guess. Oh god, don't show me this. <laughs> yeah, look at me, look at me struggling. <laughs> I was off the beat. It is really fun so far. I like the, I like the girls. Oh god. She's going for it. I was at this point I was just like I just got to be hitting stuff. because I was screwing it up so badly. Wow, killed it. <laughs> Kaboom! Wait, did we just destroy one of Jupiter's moons? Kerbla! <laughs> Easy peasy. Hee <laughs> hee, our winning streak continues. But how are we supposed to get home? Hail a taxi? Don't you find it fascinating, comrades, that we were able to breathe in space? <laughs> Although the whole thing about blood boiling or freezing in space is, the, is unscientific drivel, it is true that the human body will begin to malfunction if left exposed to open space for longer than 10 seconds and will succumb to asphyxiation within two minutes as a result of why sweat the deets. <laughs> we're alive, baby! All right, then. As humanity's representative, I'll take it upon myself to... Hmm? What the? I guess we're being teleported back to Earth since we won. 
Oh, please, this isn't some sci-fi B-movie. I'm not going anywhere. You can't make me. I'm staying here to study Jupiter. No, let me stay. Ganymede might be toast, but Europa's still going strong. I'm going to make a killing when I hawk my aquatic alien discoveries to the highest bidder. Oh, next on the next episode. Live long and prosper. Whoa, chill, you gotta be careful with the re with the references. Did I mess up the hand sign or something? You only dig that whole deeper way? Was that a copyright joke? Going on a trek in the stars after school? <laughs> See you later, Jupiter. I, I just love the save screen. Going on a trek in the stars after school. Look at his bandage! Wait, he has a cool vest on. This robot friend? Curse those foul humans. From where do they draw their power? Ellis, how goes the conquest of Earth? He has a little crown. He's the king octopus. Well, fancy seeing you here, your highness. Good day to you, my liege. Quite. Well, is the job done? I trust that the despicable planet responsible for attacking us has been reduced to space dust. Ah, uh, well, about that. In only a wee bit, it will be so. <laughs> for eons have we been feared by inferior planets due to our scientific and military might. What fools we would look like. For such a barbaric race to best us. Yes, my liege. We swear that we shall prove to them that we are the superior species. Our fleet is currently en route. Once we have crossed Earth, we will conquer the surrounding planets and found a kingdom anew. Yes, my liege. My every tentacle for our glorious civilization. We must destroy the Earthlings before the fleet arrives. Yawn, I need a nap. And whose fault is that? We stayed up late watching that movie. Or whose fault is it that we stayed up late watching that movie? Every time I was about to doze off, you'd wake me up. Don't blame me, it gets boring not being able to move my own body. Sup? Oh, hi, sashimi, or er, shimi. Is it just me or is it freakishly quiet? Now that you mentioned, I haven't seen any birds. And the stray cat I usually bump into isn't around either. Something ain't right. Are those octotwerps up to no good again? Drive by confusing the best way? Well, thank you, thank you! I like my antlers, thank you very much. The octotwerps. Oh. Oh, we're gonna start a new chat room again? You know it. <laughs> Come on. Come on, ladies. This is an AOL instant messenger. Yo, rules. Rather serious topic this time. <laughs> Surprised? Rules exist to be broken. Isn't it a thrill when you break a rule? Uh, well, we're technically breaking the rules right now by chatting in the middle of class. Rico was complaining about rules yesterday, too. Being the class rep means being part of the system, so it's not her fault. She works for the man. We're the resistance. Wow, since when did we become the resistance? Since forever. Being part of the metal club means fighting the powers that be. Valid point. Well, now that we've settled that, let's figure out where we're going after school. I recommend hitting the electronics store and buying alien parts to develop anti-alien weaponry. I would love to go to the rental shop, personally. There's a new zombie film I've been wanting to see. Okay, actually, maybe she's... Maybe I relate to her. Well, that reminds me, one of my fave bands put out a new album. I'm gonna hit the rental shop, too. Rental shop, here I come. How about you, Rinko? Uh, zombie movie? Rental shop it is, then. Guess I'm going alone to the electronics store, huh? No matter the generation scientists walk a path of solitude. That's only because you always take like two hours in that place. You manage to make shopping boring. Anyway, see you ladies after school. All right, until then, bye. 
Hey, well. You let your group chats drag on forever? Like, not for- I, I have- I have group chats that I just don't, like, break up. I, I have, uh, I have one with a bunch of my friends from home where sometimes people just drop in random stuff like, Hey, check this out. It just kind of sits. It's- it's basically just a- a room that we can use if we need to. I am confused why some of the graphics seem like they're, like, really low res. <laughs> that book there. Event at rental shop has been triggered. Ka! All right. I gotta go talk. I gotta go though. Is the rental shop work or play? It's play. Oh, they're all there. New rental shop. In this particular film, running from zombie doubles as effective cardio. Is she talking about Zombieland? Isn't it wonderful that zombies can help people get fit? Sure is. Ah, Prez. Are you here to rent something too, Prez? If you're looking for zombie horror, I'd be happy to recommend you some of the more extreme films, or perhaps something a bit lighter. You're great, thanks. Oh, sup, you here too, Rinko? I was just thinking. What would happen if we used a pre-recorded metal concert on the aliens? Then I wouldn't have to practice drums anymore. Practice drums? What are you talking about? The reason it works is because we're making them listen to our very souls. Concerts are all about being live. The rawness. That's not what I mean. It's like how zombie films are so wonderful because... <laughs> This is my girl. <laughs> I understand this. It's like how zombie films are so wonderful because there's almost something poetic about the humans engaging in close quarters combat with the undead. That raw feel is simply magnificent. Ah, oh, that's what you meant. Raw and live, baby. Raw and live. Okay, gotcha. Live concerts are the best. Heck yeah! Dang straight! Oops! Just noticed the... Sun is coming. Go. Cult plus 20 badge acquired. Is it cult? I'm not sure what it is. What do I need? Good on cult. I guess I go for guts, activity, or passion. So did it. Oh no, she's still here. I wonder if I can become even better friends with her. Girl, go. Oh, we're just gonna become besties. I hope that was a Zombie Land reference. I've been wanting to do a Zombie Land rewatch lately. I've been in the schmood. Activity. I do not need more cult. I have so much cult. Assuming it's cult. I have so much cult. Go to the cafe. Pump the passion. Yeah, 
I could really do with a rewatch because, like, some of my all-time favorite lines, like, in movies are in it. Like, you almost hit your alcohol with your knife. <laughs> After this, I'll go to practice. Sup! So. Alright, Crucifix and Ultima Hora. Well, now let's have you practice with your bandmates. Alright, here we go. God. Oh god. Oh god, wait. Oh god, I'm so bad! I didn't even do Ultima Hora. Uh, let me practice again so I can do. No! I mean, they really just want me to get up there and rip it, I think, so maybe it's not all bad. This is eerie. Something's off. Oh, you again. Curses. It seems we've been spotted. Wow, their outfits are so. <laughs> They're so stealthy. We'll use this massive magnetic monstrosity to destroy the Earth from the inside. A geomagnetic anomaly, so that's why the birds and cats booked it. You won't get away with this. Gotta remember my... Gotta remember my... My fundamentals. Disrupt the Octoid's construction. I'm doing crucifix! Allegedly. Some symbols in there.
<laughs> just so many rudiments. There's something in there. Now that's the drummers I remember. So I did do crucifix five times. What was the name of the song? My very excited monster just sat upon Neptune. You're never gonna expand your playstyle if you just keep drumming to the same beat. Try to hammer out some different rhythms. I'm trying! Oh, this is gonna be a disaster. Is there a way to sync an electronic drum set? That would be really cool, actually. You can use Joy-Cons, so you can kind of pretend. I like when you can hear that I'm just getting like... <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> you can hear when I'm panicking! King. You there, quasi animate object, work! Whoosh! Hmm? Wah! Wah! Wait, is this not hot water? The next day. Kichi Joji baths opening soon. On the next episode, salad. That word should have a new meaning for all of us today. Salads can be consumed by vegetables pretty different. Just get a burger. <laughs> today is the day of our independence. Yo, Independence Day! Hold on, I wanna- I wanna see, like... I know that there's other... There's practice, free play. I wonder what- what's mode? Oh. <laughs> Yo, burger? Oh, so you can just select a song and the opponent. Oh, there's other guys we can fight. Clear conditions. Whoa, that's really high. Well, maybe this one will tell me which one, which, which of the beats are hot. Hot beats? Oh god. <laughs> Let's try Ultima Horror. Oh, I did it! I think we went too fast.
I just don't know how to consistently do them, you know? Like, some of those times I thought I was doing Ultima Horror and then it said Crucifix and I was like, I see. <laughs> No! Wait. <laughs> oh, okay. so I got C rank. Acquired C rank or above on my very excited monster to set on my ne upon Neptune versus Octoids in free play. I finally got my Ultima Hora badge. Hot was shown during the practices. Must just be shown in the mezzo suggested beat. Uh, okay. Record concert? No. I did get a lot of secret bonuses. Too bad they're secret. Where can I see, like, my badges? I wanna, s I wanna see how great I am. <laughs> I wanna see how good I am at this game. I'm <laughs> just kidding. <laughs> I actually kinda wanna try with the Joy-Cons. I don't know what it would be like, though. Wait, hold on. Let me, um... Let me turn off. Oh, here we go. Turn off. Controller. Your wrists warmed up. Bad boy. Oh god. Oh. Got it. Controllers. Change grip slash order. A when you're ready. Okay. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to do practice. Let's do this one. Solo practice or group practice? Practice rhythm patterns here. Create your own new rhythms. I guess we'll do it. Let's do solo so I can I can learn how the Joy Cons work. Like rock band for the Wii. Here's the hot rhythm pattern I recommend for this song. Pick whichever rhythm you like. Options. <laughs> Cannot be used here! You bastards! No! <laughs> Here we go. No, not, not, not the volume. Not the volume control. Joy-Con! There we go. Okay, now we put at this. All right, teach me. Teach me how to drum. Oh, oh, there's Joy Cons at the side of the screen. Oh, wait, so the left is blue and the right's orange. keep accidentally hitting orange because I just flail a lot. <laughs> Wait, how am I hitting a symbol? <laughs> Don't stop me! Don't stop me! I'm still trying! Let me try it. Oh, there's Nazarene.
Try different positions in front of you? Okay, one sec. Symbol seems to be, I smack him at the same time. Where's the pedal Joy-Con? <laughs> practice again. I mean, it seems like you need really high numbers to be able to beat the songs in free play. So I don't know if you get like... Oh, there's my badges. There's my badges. I don't know what they do. I guess I want to get badges because I think of like... I think of like the world ends with you or something. But yeah, it seems like you need really... Well, I guess that was rank C, so like technically... At least ranked on it. Yeah, it's like really high. I wonder if you get extra juice from clearing the story. All right. I'm ready. Oops. <laughs> I keep hitting this symbols on accident. What's that? be enough better than last time though metal power life health <laughs> boo <laughs> boo this man from utopia 30 times oh well, thanks there's my dead hysteria badge Do you find the Joy-Cons easier to handle? Not at all. <laughs> Not even a little bit. But they feel but they feel more authentic, you know? Like I'm living my truth. <laughs> Not even a little bit. Oh man. I guess you can just, yeah, you can swap them over from here. Now, this game is really fun. I really like this. Um, I know, I know it's a, it's a really short stream for me, but I might actually, I might actually call it here just because I haven't been feeling super good all day. <laughs> uh, and, uh, I am actually feeling better now that, <laughs> now that I've gotten some, some drumming out of my system. I've gotten some metal out of my system. Uh, but I wanna, I wanna make sure that I can, uh, 
get some stuff done and uh, and go to bed early tonight so that hopefully I feel better tomorrow because I I want to be at full power this weekend to plow through the last of the stuff I need to do. <laughs> Thanks for the jammers. <laughs> Donkey Kong X Gal Metal crossover when everyone is asking this. Well, I that's so I've been trying to find so I had a swap disc or what my dad called a swap disc when I was a kid so that I could play uh, other region GameCube games on my GameCube. I couldn't find it when I was home. I tore everything apart looking for it and I couldn't find it. And so I've been poking around uh, like the retro stores here to see if they have anything like that. And they're all, if they do, they're like really expensive. Um, so I'm still gonna keep trying to find it because I really want to do my big Donkey Konga marathon stream. <laughs> Just turns out that when I do my Donkey Konga marathon stream, I might be like doing it from my house so I won't be torturing anybody. <laughs> Not that that was the reason I wanted to do it, but it was a hilarious bonus. <laughs> uh, but I, uh, yeah, I'm still, I'm still on for a giant Donkey Konga marathon. I just need to, I need to get the disc that will enable me to play uh, the games from all three regions. We got, we got seven, we got seven games from three regions to get through, so I need... I need that little extra juice. Maybe we just need a legion of foreign game cubes. I mean, that's also an option, I guess. <laughs> it's in a Professor Layton case. Was it an action replay game? It was another one. I forgot what it was called. It was very specific, but Papa Moose always called it a swap disc, uh, which I don't know if that's like the proper name. Swap disc funds. Thank you, Sparkster. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, but yeah, I, um, I'm still figuring out my schedule for next week. Kind of depends on how moving stuff uh, lines up because I think it's going to be a week. It's going to be a week from today that my stuff gets picked up. Uh, so I'm in a little bit of the, the terror crunch right now. Um, and then when my, when, obviously when my stuff gets picked up, I'm going to, I'm going to go be, uh, I'm gonna go be couch moose for a little while because I won't have a bed. <laughs> um, but I'll, I'll at least I should have my stuff for the next week. Uh, but yeah, I just need to see how things fall into place, and then the then the real moving haul begins. Uh, but hopefully I'm settled. Hopefully I'm settled soon. So you put it in, turn it on, take it out, swap the disc, then it's unlocked. Yeah. Yeah, you put it in, turn it on, and then it says, now put in the disc you want to put in, and you open it, take it out, put in the game you want to play, and then it just plays. It was pretty simple, so I'm not sure... I'm not sure where it went. And that's the thing, is I really only use it for my Naruto, uh... Uh, Gekito Ninja Tyson games on GameCube, and so I figured it would be with them, but it wasn't, so I have no idea where I put it. I wouldn't have, like, sold it or given it away or anything, because it was kind of beloved to me. I just don't know what happened to it. But, uh, but yeah, so we'll we'll figure out the next week, but thank you for coming to, uh, ask your Frodo friend you stole the Metroid from. He doesn't really play games from other regions. It wouldn't be him. If I, if I loaned it to anyone, it would have been Tetrisiado. Uh, cause, cause he's the only one who would have played other region games out of my friend group that I can think of. But, yeah, I need to, I need to ponder. I need to ponder on my, it's gotta be somewhere. I feel like I'm gonna wake up in a cold sweat and suddenly remember where it is, but until then, I'll keep my eye out for one that's actually affordable. Yeah, thank you guys for coming to Gal Metal. We'll defeat the aliens at a at a at a later date. They're on vacation now. Under the morb, <laughs> maple orb. <laughs> um, but yeah, have a good rest of your week. I hope you have a good weekend. I'll be around on Twitter and Discord, even while I'm moving stuff. Uh, but yeah, have a good one, and I'll see you next week.
and have a good night or good morning or an afternoon or whatever it is wherever you are in Otsu rudiments. <laughs> That's my favorite. That's my favorite rhythm. <laughs>